Cool. The topic is the emotional roller coaster. Okay. We're all we all have great ideas. Okay. So you start off with your great idea, whatever that may be, and your great idea may be start a business. Your great idea may be, you know, join a gym, go off the drink, lose some weight, whatever the case may be. But you've got this great idea, and so away you go with gusto. And then what happens after a short period of time, you come around the corner and you get to where, how did I get here? And basically that means you've come to a stage where I didn't think it was going to be this tough. Because back here, you didn't actually take the time to sit and think, what's involved in the commitment to make this happen? Think about it. If it was such a great idea and it was so easy, sure, everybody would be doing it. Okay? So... A great idea, you get going, and then it starts to get a bit tough, people don't return your calls, the weight's not coming off the way you want, whatever the case happens to be, okay? You hang around there for a while, and then you get to here, and this is, how do I get out of here? Okay. So it wasn't such a great idea after all, you weren't totally committed to it, you aren't totally focused on it, and now you're starting to think about, when it comes to getting anything done, we only have to come up with one way how to achieve something. Our mind has an ability to come up with a thousand ways and reasons why it shouldn't work and won't work. And when you're here and here, you're working on, why will this not work? But if you hang about long enough and you start to focus on, what can I do to start to make it work? You get to here and you'll recommit. When you recommit, it's a great idea again. And this is the emotional roller coaster. And the fact that you now know that's the way your brain works, that's the way it is, you have no excuse now for quitting around here. So whatever you're going to do, make a commitment to it. And the important thing is, it's not about making a decision to do something. When you make a decision, you've got to get the word you can't do it. I mentioned earlier on, I trained with a guy at 7 o'clock on a Wednesday morning. I've been doing it now for nine years. I actually have to make a decision not to go to Albert. I go to Albert at 7 o'clock on a Wednesday morning. And my life evolve around, evolves around. If I've got a flight, I'll book a flight at 11 o'clock so that I can go to him at 7 o'clock on a Wednesday morning. I'm totally committed to it. And if you look at it, what are you totally committed to in your life? We've all done this. You've done it in the past when you were a kid, you joined something, whatever it was, and you kept doing it. This is no different. Commit to the thing. The difference between being interested in something and committed to something, when you're interested in something, you'll do it when it's convenient. When you're committed to something, you'll do whatever's required. I'm going to get fit. It's raining. Actually, sure, I'll run tomorrow. I'll do an extra mile tomorrow. That's convenience. Commitment. I'm going running hell or high water. I'm doing it. Look at the bacon and eggs. The bacon, the pig's committed. The egg, the chicken's involved. Poor pig had to die to get on the plate. What are you willing to die to to make happen? Okay? Get this into your head and you'll succeed in whatever you set your mind to. Okay? Thanks.